You're an Avenger. Have I killed you before? <laughs> what? They all blur together after a while. Marvel, MCU, DC, uh -huh. comics, movies, shows, heroes, villains. You are now tuned in to Hammerite Black. So let's get into it, y'all. We are here, as you can tell, we are here to talk about Kang, obviously. Kang, Kang the Conqueror, Pharaoh Ramatut, Immortus, Iron Lad, Victor Timely, Scarlet, whatever you want to call him, okay? Whatever you want to call this man, we know him as Kang. A lot of people know him as Kang the Conqueror. That is what we are talking about, man. He's getting a lot of buzz lately, especially with Ant-Man and the Wasp dropping, so I definitely wanted to give you guys some information on him. So you can probably, you know, well, you won't be as surprised seeing stuff coming up. You'll know kind of where he's going. You can see some stuff. You'll see certain movements coming and alluding to the comics. And you'll be like, oh, I kind of remember that. So that's what this is here for. And I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get it going. So Kang. The real name is Nathaniel Richards. Hmm. Sounds kind of familiar. But um, this is he's obviously from a, a different Earth. He's from Earth 6311, a.k.a. Other Earth. And in this Earth, there was no Dark Ages. So Tech got to advance with no interruption. So like he's in the year 3000, living life luxurious, okay? As far as um, comics go, my man has been around, all right? Like he has 796 issues of where he has been in. We obviously are not going to go through all 796 because we do not have enough time for that. But I figured I pick out a few that I feel stood out, some of his more known ones and also possible ones that can has happen in the MCU just with what we've seen from him in the MCU, which we'll get into that also. So we're going to start off with my man's first appearance. All right. Avengers 8, Kang's first appearance. Now, it wasn't nothing big or crazy he wasn't sitting there you know dominating you know killing anybody or doing anything he honestly got his ass whooped if we're gonna keep it at one like there's a scene of literally all the avengers jumping this nigga bro like it's <laughs> like if you look at like the way comics are now they're so much more intricate because back in the day it was literally like bad guy in a circle all of them just <laughs> just, just whooping his ass so shout out to jack kirby jack kirby did design him with the purple and the green um, another one we had one of his uh, one of his more known ones, and you guys might recognize the name is King Dynasty, and this ran between Avengers forty issues forty one through fifty four back in two thousand and one. And at this point in time, in two thousand one, at this point in time, King had taken over the entire world, which no other villain had done to that point. Obviously, you recognize the name King Dynasty, so you can kind of see where some of these names from the MCU are coming from. Um, moving on, we have a uh, Stranger Tales 134, which this is um, a lot of times with, especially with villains and heroes, they try to show like the diversity of characters. They don't want to make the characters seem too one-minded. And this one, basically, Kang goes back into medieval England. He usurps Merlin to take over the country. And, but it just goes to show like how complex he will go for his schemes to take over. Like there is no boundaries on what he will do to get what he wants. He might not be the strongest, but guess what? He going to do whatever he got to do, you know what I mean, to get what he wants. Eventually, you know, the Fantastic Four comes in, saves the day, wins. You know, how, you know how that goes. And then we got the next one. We got Let the Game Begin in Avengers 69. So this is basically also... Um, Another thing, because Kang isn't, you know, so well combative and so super, super strong, he did have to have good tricks. I mean, look at Tony Stark. Tony Stark ain't got super hands. He ain't super strong. But that tech, though, and them brains, that tech and them brains he got, yeah. So in this one, he just, you know, basically wanted to, he just came in dick swinging on this one, basically. He showed off the light of the century sphere, which allows him to travel faster than the speed of light in between time and all of that stuff. We've seen that before. Um, also in this one, he uses Ant-Man's growing man technique, which is another like flex, like, yeah, motherfuckers. Like it just because you can do shit don't mean I can't do it too. And I probably do it better. All right, moving on, we have um, Seconds Out, which is the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume two issue 19 how to make sure i get that right in which um like i said 
um, with characters, they like to show how broad their character can be. So they in this one, they just wanted to show him in a broader cosmic web. And basically, he had the Guardians ended up needing Kang's help, and in needing his help, it allows him to cont- obtain the last cosmic cube. Which yeah, that's not good. So you know what I mean? Like you he might need his help, but that don't mean he ain't got his own plan. Like I said, he's always gonna do what he got to do so he could be on top. Another one we have is um Timeless. It was a one shot um run in 2021 and it just basically shows Kang just conquering timelines and realities like it was just showing him <laughs> what this man does like you know you hear about it like I've conquered many timelines yeah this one showed it <laughs> it showed why he the top dog which um yeah that's pretty dope I think it's dope that they were able to um, be able to get that off and do that just because sometimes you're not able to see you hear a lot of talking and stories of the, what these people did but being able to actually see it yeah that's another thing we also have the Young Avengers. In Avengers, you have Iron Lad, who is a king, okay? He went, you, all right? So just, you have Iron Lad, who is a king. You have Primary King, who's top dog, and he's going to stop Iron Lad because of Iron Lad's true mission, okay? I will get into Iron Lad's true mission in a second, okay? So... Um, moving on to another one, which I personally like this one because now officially we have seen uh, both of these characters in the MCU. Um, so once an Avenger, in this one it shows his love for Ravana. Ravana initially resists Kang, but she eventually joins him on his quest, which leads to significant consequences for both. Basically, Ravana loses her life for protecting Kang. But in this, Ravana, Ravona, basically, um, Kang wanted her, and he kind of did like what Thanos did to Lady Death, because basically Thanos wanted Lady Death, so he was like, "Let me go conquer a bunch of shit, and that's going to impress her." That's what Kang did, and she was like, "You know what? Let me fuck with this nigga." Which we see Ravana. Those who watch Loki, and we've seen Kang. Those who watch Loki and Ant Man. So, boom, maybe, possibly, hint, hint. So, in a West Coast Avengers run, Scarlet Witch loses vision, and in her losing vision, she was very hard and distraught. And Immortus, one of the variants of Kang, controls Scarlet Witch to start taking over realities and timelines for him. That's fucking scary. All right, that is fucking terrifying. I'm shitty. I would be shit myself if I heard if I pull up to Avengers Tower and like we got a huge problem. Like, man, we always got a huge problem, man. What the fuck haven't we? What haven't we stopped yet? Him stopped him. Him stopped him. What we got? This motherfucker be like, yeah. So uh, Immortus, the King variant, is controlling Scarlet Witch to take over realities. So we dead, bro. So like, what you want to do? You want to go out and party real quick? Cause there ain't nothing you can do, bro. Like I'm not. We're not gonna. <laughs> that's just like wow. Whew. All right, and which leading into my last um, comic issue, Avengers Forever. It's um, this one. Kang is chasing the Forever Crystal, and he grabs numerous Avengers from different timelines, which lead up to this epic battle. Something like Secret Wars, which is also a title for an Avengers movie that's coming out of the MCU. Oh my gosh, bro! It's all there for you guys, man. If you want to know what's going to happen in the MCU, you just got to read a few comics, all right? I know a lot of people don't like to read a few comics. It's not a lot of reading, all right? There's more pictures. And they're just so good, man. So, yeah, those are the, um, some of the top comic issues that I like personally of him that I wanted to issue. Like I said, he has damn near 800 issues of him just being in. Now, they're not his issues per se, obviously, because he's you know he does have some like King Dynasty and stuff like that, but he's also the big bad. We did have some like other versions of of his comics which i just kind of wanted to give some special shout outs to so there was um he was in spider ham he was kangaroo the conqueror (laughs) i fucking love it another one was um x-men in star trek he was a part of that it was actually like a little crazy thing where basically their world started colliding because of shit that king was using and they ended up being in the same timeline kind of crazy we have an ultimate marvel and that's where a female king goes back in time and fronts like she's going to be helping people and really she's just trying to steal the infinity gauntlet and she has the hulk and quicksilver on her team and then at the end she just reveals that she's sue storm fucking wild wild we're not even going to get into that and then we have the spider getting doom 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 so in this one you got businessman king the conglomerator <laughs> Bro, them of these names, bro, kill me. Um, basically, he wants to take Spider Punk back, and for his markability. But um, Spider Punk was like, nah, fam. And it, he basically him, Captain Anarchy, and Hulk 
all fight and take down King. And right when, before King starts dying, he just reveals like, yo, Captain Anarchy gonna die old. And looked at Spider Punk and was like, yeah, you gonna die young. Bloop. Deuces. And just disappear. You know that, you know that mean when a dude be like, and he just fucking disappear? Yeah. That's exactly what King did. He said, yeah, you gonna die young. Out. So, um, those are the comic versions, some other versions of them. Like I said, I've said in the other versions, they definitely do mashups and stuff like that with DC and Marvel. And look at now Star Trek and Marvel. There's been DC and, and, and Ninja Turtles and stuff like that. So, you know, it's good to see that. I'd say that much. So let's get on to the variations. There's over like 10 million, 9 million variations of King. We're not going to do that. Okay. We are not going to fucking do that. All right. I'm going to pick a few. I picked a few that I feel were like. I picked mainly the ones that are the MCU that you guys will be able to see. Some possible that will be coming. Okay. All right. Keep it like that. Pharaoh Ramatut. This man is um, a king that went back in time to rule Egypt. He's also, he's very powerful. I'd say that much. He's very powerful. He's not top, top. I would say that much. He's not top kings, but he ain't nothing to be fucked with. And then we got Immortus, which is another person you might have seen resides in limbo he's also very powerful so this one resides in limbo and basically there's a prime king that wants to go and he finds out that like basically the keepers of time allowed him to not end up in that time loop because that's basically where he was going to end they were just going to throw him in limbo so he cannot just he can't fuck with anything because you're just too powerful and no one can stop you so we just got to just trap you basically he, he just chilling now granted he's not just like that but he just chilling in limbo he can't he in between time he ain't can't fuck with nothing he can't mess up nothing he just chilling which kind of sucks then we have Iron Lad. So in this one, a young Nathaniel Richards, he was going to save somebody. And in doing that, he was able to see his future self become king. And he said, fuck no, I don't want to do that. So what did he do? He stole a suit from his future self, whew, threw that suit on, went in the past and was like, yo, we about to create the Young Avengers to stop King. Which led to, like I said, the Young Avengers. So now he was going to stop himself. You know what I mean? They were going to stop from Kang coming over. And that's when Prime Kang was like, no, you can't stop yourself from becoming Kang. You know what I mean? We can't have that because then I won't be there. And it's crazy because they ended up winning, right? So they all fought and they ended up beating Prime Kang. But in doing that, young Nathaniel realized like, damn, I have to go back home. And in going back home, he realized that he had to basically become Kang in order for his home to survive and thrive. And in order for everything to be okay, he had to become Kang. So basically, he did all that shit for nothing. We also have Victor Timely, which this is a slept on one because it's not a variation of King. It is actually a King that lost in the future and went back in time and basically founded this small town in Timely, Wisconsin and made that the 20th century like landmark for tech like he basically was just showing off all the tech advancing it from there to kind of restart basically in a small town that nobody's really going to know about so we wouldn't get no you know what i mean distractions or anything like that and then we also have one um the scarlet centurion who is a b a m f there's been a few of the kings that have been scarlet centurions but basically like that that person is about death bro they come in about death like if you was like if you know about the scarlet centurion they all read too bro they coming through bro body and niggas like that's what like that is what coincides with the scarlet centurion is death so run you got the chrono monitor so the chrono monitor is actually dope because this one works for the tva hmm. tva i feel like i've heard that before and he actually um working for the tva used them powers for personal gain he fucking was trying to off people you know off his other people so he can become you know what i mean the only one and they were going to capture him to take him to jail he escaped the goddamn tva went and killed rama tut so they was like all right bro you definitely tripping so they just cracked they trapped him and then just threw him in the loop in a time loop so he can never escape and he's just stuck in this loop now fucking crazy that's what you gotta do with motherfuckers that are so powerful bro there's nothing else you can do you gotta just trap them bro because you cannot contain them you just gotta be like yo i gotta get sticky you in some time loop or throw you in between time so you you can't do nothing you know what i mean so those are some uh those are some of the variations of him granted there are like i said vast more i mean if you look at the picture those are all kings all of them those are the variations of him and which is going to lead into my last topic 
the movies and shows. Now, granted, this is definitely um, on the smaller side. There's not as much content for this one on, on him because he's a big bad. And yeah, in order to get to him, you got to go through a lot to get to Kang because he ain't something to do, just be messed with, especially because of his, he, he's a time traveling villain, bro. Like just saying that in itself should, you know, explain enough. Um so I'll just go off with shows. Um, we've actually seen Ramata in an old, old Fantastic Four animated show. We've seen Kang the Conqueror in Avengers United They Stand. We saw Ramata also in X-Men Evolution, a mid-2000s X-Men show. It was actually pretty good. I liked X-Men Evolution. I'm not going to lie. It's not better than the OG 90s one, but it's still good. And then we had um, Kang the Conqueror on Earth's Mightiest Heroes, Avengers Assembled, and Future Avengers. So he's been in a lot of the animated shows for sure because, I mean, obviously if you're going multiple seasons, you're going to have to lead up to some big bad. Oh, and also in TV shows, He Who Remains was in Loki from the MCU. And then as far as movies, we've only seen Kang one time in the movies. And that is Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. So, I mean... That's all of his movies. <clears throat> That's all of his shows. We are definitely going to be seeing more, especially if you've seen the MCU. But I truly, truly hope that this show helps you guys out some with getting to know a little bit more about Kang and the different variations of him and what possibly can happen in some of these movies, especially if you've seen Ant-Man, especially if you've seen Loki. You know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? You kind of are hoping to see. How do you think his role will expand in the MCU? Well, that's the thing is that his role is the MCU now at this point. Like, you're going to be set up with, with all of these variations of him. That means that, like, if we've seen one of him, that means, okay, that all of the other ones obviously are here. So now we got to worry about that. It's not just one. It's all of them. You know what I mean? And if they team up, then you're really in trouble. So they've already set it up up to king dynasty and secret war so that's to the end of this phase as far as past this phase no no maybe you might get a nathaniel richards in the in the iron lad which might be dope that would be pretty dope i mean i don't know if he'd be young or something nothing like that so there's possibility in that um there's also possibility that he can just be you know circle back around you know in the future or something like that so as far as right now, he's here for right now. He's a problem right now in the mcu and that's what people are sleeping on not a lot of people know about it Without giving spoilers, there's only, like, as far as, like, main characters, there's only, like, two people that know about him. And they ain't been able to talk to anybody else about it. So, that's a problem. So, as far as as, as his role, he is the problem right now in the MCU. And I think once people start realizing it in movies and shows and stuff like that, that's when they're going to be like, um... And then that's when they're going to ask the people who've met him and they're going to be like, yeah, he's that guy. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any other questions, feel free to ask. Hopefully you guys like these episodes. Um, I'm going to be doing another one next month. I like to keep I like to keep the, the, the person a mystery. All right. All right. I'm going to keep it a mystery. OK, I promise. I promise it will still be a bringer. I love y'all. Deuces. Call me Peter Parker, a.k.a. Spider-Ham. Hey. Peter Butter Podcast, everything jam. Yeah. Superhero knowledge, baby, you know I'm the man. Uh -huh. But first things first, rest in peace to Uncle Stan. Comics, just sit back and relax. Sit the real back. wide web, we gon' take it to the max. Yeah. In the multiverse of madness, call me Hammer Ride Black. Uh -huh. You know what it is every time that I enter. enter. Take your favorite comic, bring it here front and center. center. We can talk just as Legion Titans or Avengers. Yeah. Fantastic Four, X Men, or Defenders. Wait, wait, wait. My spider sense is tingling. Hero versus villains, look at everybody mingling. Yeah. Buckle up your seatbelt and prepare for the ride. Hams are classified, comic survival guide. Hams are classified, comic survival guide. Oh. Puffin' Mary Jane Spider.